She'll be coming round the mountain. Adapted by Tom Birdseye and Debbie Holsclaw Birdseye. Illustrated by Andrew Glass. Oma and Opa Sweet and all the clan sat on the front porch wearing smiles a mile wide. It'd been years since they had last seen their dear friend Tootie. But now a letter had arrived announcing that she'd be coming around the mountain for a visit. Tootie, after all of this time, goodness gracious lordy of mercy, yahoo! Yahoo! That had it been always the first thing Tootie said when she used to drop by. Then she'd do a little dance in front in the front yard. Yahoo! Now it made Opa and Oma sweet and all the clan grin just like Christmas. But the twins, Petunia and Dilbert, had never met dear Tootie. They hadn't been born the last time she visited. When will she get here? They kept wanting to know. When, Oma, when? Opa Sweet smiled and then looked at Oma Sweet and commenced to hummin'. Oma Sweet nodded and then started tapping her foot in time. And then she began to sing. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, yes indeed. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, yes indeed. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, yes indeed. Will Toot come by train? asked Petunia. She had always wanted to go meet the train. Papa Sweet picked up his old guitar and strummed a chord. Nah, not Tootie. She'll drive her old jalopy when she comes. Beep, beep. She'll drive her old jalopy when she comes. Beep, beep. She'll drive her old jalopy. She'll drive her old jalopy. Oh, she'll drive her old jalopy when she comes. Beep, beep. Old jalopy means an old, old, old car. It doesn't look very good, but it still runs. Yeah, but there's lots of old jalopies around here, said little Dilbert. How will we know it's her? Mama Sweet gave little Dilbert a hug and then plucked her banjo. No, it's Tootie? Well, nary a problem there, she said. She'll be wearing jeans and slop boots when she comes mighty fine. She'll be wearing jeans and slop boots when she comes mighty fine. She'll be wearing jeans and slop boots, wearing jeans and slop boots. She'll be wearing jeans and slop boots when she comes mighty fine. Slop boots. Well, I wish I didn't know what this word meant, but I do. They're really high boots. And I used to wear them when I would, what we would call, slop the pigs or feed the pigs. And you used to have to wear them so your feet and everything would stay clean. So it was really tall, really yucky, really stinky boots. Petunia and Dilbert both giggled. Tell us more about Tootie. They begged, please. Aunt Ophelia ran her bow across her fiddle, sending the notes flying high. She'll bring her old pig Clovis when she comes, oink, oink. She'll bring her old pig Clovis when she comes, oink, oink. She'll bring her old pig Clovis, she'll bring her old pig Clovis, oh, she'll bring her old pig Clovis when she comes, oink, oink. A pig named Clovis, laughed Petunia. Riding in Tootie's car, giggled Dilbert. Yes, sir, Rebob, Uncle Burgo said, hauling out his big bass fiddle out of the corner. 
and then thumping out a deep bottom line. But that's not all. She'll bring all her farm critters when she comes. Looky there. She'll bring all of her farm critters when she comes. Looky there. She'll bring her for all her farm critters. She'll bring all of her farm critters. Oh, she'll bring her farm critters when she comes. Looky there. Just then, a big cloud of dust appeared around the mountain. It's Tootie, Oma and Opa Sweet, and all the clan sang. Aunt Annie started clog dancing and stomping her heels and clicking her toes, and then everybody joined in. The cloud of dust rolled closer. Yahoo! Yahoo! yelled Oma and Opa Sweet and all the clan as they do -si doed across the yard. The cloud of dust rolled to a stop. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, everybody sang. But then, when the cloud of dust cleared, Tootie, said Oma and Opa Sweet and all the clan, is that you? Because all of a sudden, they weren't sure. It had been so long, and she'd been so far away. The fine lady turned this way and that way, pulling her silk gloves off one finger at a time. Tootie, would she still be their friend? Tootie! Oh my, the fine lady smiled and batted her long, flashy eyelashes. That does not look like the tootie they described earlier in the book, does it, boys and girls? There are no old jalopies in here. That's a brand new car. And those are not slop boots. Those are nice shoes. I think they're a little worried. But then... She threw back her head and yelled, Yahoo! Tootie! said Oma and Opa Sweet and all the clan. Time and change didn't matter. She was still their dear friend Tootie. Yahoo! said Tootie again and danced a little jig. Oma and Opa Sweet and all the clan couldn't help but to join in. Oh, we'll sing all together when she comes, Yahoo! Oh, we'll sing all together when she comes, Yahoo! Oh, we'll sing all together, we'll sing all together, oh, we'll sing all together when she comes, Yahoo! And look here, boys and girls, this is what the music looks like. Just the melody line and all the words. That's a lot of information on one page. The end.